Hi, it is Black Diamond MUA and I am back. All right, this is a review today. It's a different kind of review though. Um, no products involved, <laughs> so hands free. Oh, okay, I'm good. <laughs> these, are, these are really big hoops. They're cute. I don't usually wear big hoops, but they're like touching my shoulders. But <laughs> today it's happening and yeah, this look, um, is a fun hot summer look I did since summer is finally here and I'm in LA and I wanted some pop of color today okay so let me do this review like I said it's a little bit different this is a review of an app called Thumbtack um, some of you may have heard it some of you may be looking into it um, some of you guys have no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> so I'll put you on game of what's going on Thumbtack is a app where um, regular people are able to offer their services, okay, or businesses, okay? So um, if you offer a service, say that you are in the entertainment, say if you're in music, you have a band, you can offer your band at weddings, wherever you wanna offer your services. Um, say if you're a hairstylist, you can offer doing hair. Say if you're a stylist, you can offer going to go style someone, and like me, I um, signed up for this app and paid a fee. Um, it's free to sign up. It's completely free to sign up. But to actually, um, this is something to get clients with. So you will have to um, pay to actually talk and book with clients. So I went ahead and I signed up. Um, and when I signed up, there was something there that was like, okay, you can pay this fee or this fee or this fee, and it'll credit you for each person you contact. So I did the basic $30 you get, and so this is it's kind of weird, okay? It's, it's a little different from most apps, but this is kind of how they do it. So I'm a makeup artist. They have a whole section where you can go ahead and fill out for your specific services the type of people you take meaning how much you're charging for these people so these people know where your price range is um, also how far it is you can choose the distance that you're willing to travel um, and you also get to message these people and you get to see their whole information of what they're looking for so you are not out there just looking for people looking for people looking for people but these are actually people that are um, posting every day. Like I get like, I'll say 20 postings a day, okay? Average, 20 postings a day of people that want a makeup artist in Los Angeles, okay? And it could be from today, it could be at the end of the year, it really doesn't matter. But this is a way that, you know, you can definitely book people. Well. I'm not gonna say definitely yet because I'm gonna tell you my situation with this but basically each person has a price on their name when you click on it it shows you how much it is to go ahead and contact with that person to book you as a service correct okay so some people might have like most people I would see would have 250 which is two dollars and fifty cents to three dollars to four dollars on their name that's average that's for a basic makeup artist you're paying a basic fee and you're not too far away so it's only that much i've seen prices where people are booking for weddings but of course they're going to pay a lot more those are going to be like a 15 dollars booking you know you're going to pay 15 dollars to go ahead and conversate with that person that cl potential client basically contact with them and see if you can book them okay so when i went to into this i'm thinking okay great i'm gonna contact these people and say out of five people one person will book i was like let me try it out so i did the 30 dollars option and um i contacted many many people but let me tell you this i didn't have not one booking from these people <sighs> moment of silence Sorry, that was just the death of <laughs> what happened in my situation with this place. Um, so they actually changed their policy two days later. Like I said, I probably opted in a little too late. They changed it to where 
because after you contact that person, no matter what you said, it was just like, um, you spent that money to talk to them. Basically, even if they didn't reply. But now they have it to where they'll only charge you off that amount if, if one, if you say yes and the other person says yes and that's what it is. But it doesn't mean confirmed booking on your end. It means in the messages it said, you know, you'll proceed to speak with this person into booking or being a potential client. So it it's still not that great, but it's good for people that don't, you not actually, doesn't contact you back or, you know, you guys, or they just say hi and go. Because honestly, I'm going to tell you this. After my $30 expired and I contacted enough people worth $30, I was like, this, this is a sham. This is, this is not real. Like, I was thinking, okay, something's not right about this. Are these fake people in here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do they have this, like, fake community of people looking for makeup artists or, like, what? Because I would contact people. Some of them would not contact me back, of course. Wouldn't say anything, which is rude. I don't think that many people are rude. You know, there's not that big of a percentage that are just rude for no reason. Um, and you're looking for services and I'm very nice, you know, with my opening approach to get clients because that's what I do. So, and I mean, I have great pictures online and I have a great clientele and my clients love my makeup. So I don't see why I did not book not one person. That was very like, whoa to me. I might have had five different people that I spoke with that were very interested but sometimes even in the end they didn't reply to my last you know message or I'll follow up with them and it was just kind of like it was a dead end everything was a dead end I would say there was one that could have been a real potential client but they went with somebody else and you could always understand that but it's just like I contacted a lot of people okay a lot of people and I even gave this thing a second chance and I still opted in like okay let me let me do a little more since they changed this policy I did it again contacted I, I opted in for more money contacted about 10 people some didn't contact me back some of them did um, and the conversations would go on and I would let them know everything and what was guaranteed and, you know, all the regular basic stuff to book a client. And they say, okay, I'll see you then and I'll talk to you before the appointment. Make sure everything is right and everything is ready. Okay? That did not work with these people on Thumbtack. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they need time to establish. Are the people that are asking for the services don't are just on there playing I, I i don't know but um i was very disappointed that i spent 50 dollars in total on this service and didn't get one client out of it uh and yeah i'm just i, I called to ask for a credit or a refund or to try to at least get one client because me opting into this and not getting anything that was um that was very unfortunate extremely unfortunate um so that's that's kind of this is my review and my take and my experience on this i'm not telling anyone don't opt in try it for yourself if you have different different luck please contact me please 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 leave a message leave a comment at the bottom and let me know how your experience is let me know if this app is actually working for you let me know if you're putting in your money, putting in your actual investment and the money that you've earned to do this. And let me know if you are actually getting something back. I mean paid. I'm not messages, but paid. Actual clients um, booking your service. Because right now, ooh, sorry, I just kicked the whole thing. But right now, I am, I'm, I haven't received anything from them. So I am team no thumbtack. Um, if I 
hear different or otherwise are things change are somebody from there refunds me my money back <laughs> that would be great because really i i didn't receive anything out of it for me you know i received a bit of time that i wasted because it's not like i was even able to get these people's contact number and that's another thing they have a thing on there where you can put a filter of what you can see so you don't see a long list of people just requesting makeup artists but there's a filter where you can filter other stuff and what is there was another filter in there um that oh that you can filter for um phone numbers so sometime i'll filter phone number like they have to have their phone number right and out of the 30 people that was on there it limited down to two or three right i would still click on here on those people and I didn't find their phone number so <laughs> I don't know this one wasn't for me this one wasn't for me and that's my update being a makeup artist and signing on to that um, now there are other apps there are other apps I will um, do reviews on that also kind of do the same thing um, but this one was not successful for me. And this is one that I actually spent money on. Some of them are free. Some of me spend money. And when I actually spend money to invest, my intentions are to make that money back. A hundred times full. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how much I'm putting in. So, yes, a little disappointment. But I'm good. I'm good and I'm just gonna keep trucking because I know that there are better apps and better opportunities always around the corner when things like this happen so beware but if you want to try it try it and if you love it let me know and let me know how you were successful what did you do that probably was different you know what I'm saying is something help us just the out so, yep, that is my review on Thumbtack. Sorry it was so long, but I just wanted to kind of let y'all know everything, okay? And I will see y'all in my next video. Much love. Mwah, 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 mwah.